David, I'm a co-play frontier from the Genesis Group. Just want to give you guys a market update. So if you look at Bitcoin, uh, like I said, if you checked out last week's video, I did said I expect Bitcoin to move up. And it did exactly that, right? It moved up. Um, just count from seven days ago, like today's Sunday, Saturday, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, Sunday, right? Yeah, you move, it went down, boom, 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 boom. Now, if I look at it, hmm. Yeah, moments, mo momentum still down. This is what I think. I honestly do think that the stock market sometime next week is going to take a, a beating. That should drag Bitcoin down. Uh, for me personally, I'm still waiting for Bitcoin to hopefully it could get around to that 47, 48,000 range before I start selling off all my Bitcoin. I, I think that's where the pullback is going to be. I do expect the stock market to take a whooping. Um, if you look at on the weekly, Bitcoin still has more upside on the weekly. In the weekly, the longer time ranges overpowers the shorter time ranges. So, you know, technically, this doesn't look all that good. If you look at the RSI, RSI gets... Right now, you have this like right here that's 68, 69. It's this range that Bitcoin cannot really get above. And you can see it here like, here it was support, here is resistance, here is resistance again. And that's what really Bitcoin needs to do is break out of that, you know. Uh, I mean, you can see. This level of the RSI is pretty critical. I mean, you see, it was resistance, resistance, resistance. And if you move up, when it breaks above, that's when you have these big, nice moves up. You know, you, you here you have support, and then it moved back up here in, on the RSI, and you had a nice move up. You, you broke above it here, you had a nice move up. And so that's what I was really kind of looking at. Uh, Sunday, the RSI was pretty low. And I was like, well, I should expect a bounce. But you had a re rejection. But so what? I mean, you had a rejection here. And then it broke above. You know, but, you know, for me right now, it's a 50-50 guess. Last week, it was kind of easy. I could just tell where the RSI was and just tell you what it was going to have a, a, a pump up, which it did. At this level, it's pretty hard to say. And then I do expect the stock market to take a whooping. Uh, so, I, you know, to be honest right now, I don't know. If, if you really want to know what I'm looking at, is if I look at this from the weekly, this price range here is you got to look here. And so what I'm expecting, what I'm hoping is, you know, Bitcoin could get up to like, around that 40 between that 47 and 48,000 range why why am i saying that crap there's a reason why here resistance okay here support okay here it was resistance and then once it popped up it boom okay and so you know, I mean, you, you got to look at, like, that area. Um, and so, right now, Bitcoin is just at that range where you see a lot of touches. A lot of touches in this range. But I'm kind of expecting Bitcoin to be able to hit higher. Um, and so, I don't know. Now, when Bitcoin does go back down, I expect it to touch this level here. And so maybe it'll get back down to the, you know, like, let's say if it gets up to like 47,000. Now, remember, I'm not your financial advice. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you what I'm doing or what I'm planning. 
But let's say if I if it does get up to that forty seven thousand range, forty eight, I sell off my Bitcoin and Ethereum and some probably of my alts as well. I would be start to buy back in around thirty four thousand. Can it go lower? Sure, it can probably go down to like thirty one something. But you know, do I want it to hit exactly forty eight thousand? No, I might start selling some of my positions off when it gets to like close to forty seven thousand. I don't need to hit the top. I just want to sell when it's past the shoulders. I don't need to buy at the bottom. I just want to buy when it's below the knee. You get what I'm saying? Um, and so that's what that is. All right. Now, so we'll see how this plays out. Okay. Um, I did say last week, the longer Bitcoin can hold, you could, Cocoin will have a, a move up. And it did. It, it had a nice little move up. Boom, boom, boom. It all went all the way here. Because Bitcoin is a whole price as for the the smaller cap coins to, you know, get this opportunity from whales to pump up. However, look what happened. It already sank down. And so this looks, you know, right now it's at support. It just bounced off support. How do you know it's support? Because look how many times it touched it. It touched it here. It touched it here. You know, it's touching it. And there's, there's, there's that support range. Right now, Cocoin needs to at least hold the support range. Okay. Uh, and But for Cocoin to even hold the support range, Bitcoin needs to hold its current price. If Bitcoin starts crashing down, you know, Cocoin can, will start crashing down. Now, can Cocoin go down to its previous all-time lows? I mean, anything is possible. But we'll see. What I was really hoping was if, if Cocoin could just pop up the way it did and start, you know, making some candles and then start, you know, doing more better sideway movements and then another pop up. And to me, that'll really secure. But right now, you know, this Cocoin is not looking good. Uh, but once again, Bitcoin needs to hold for Cocoin need to hold or have an opportunity to really pop. Like it did here. Okay. But just look at the volume. Okay. Look at the volume. It's only $36,000 in volume. That's not a whole lot of money. Okay. That's not a whole lot of money. Look at Pepe. This is like bullshit coin, I guess. But I, I have some Pepe, right? But look at it. $991,000 in volume. People are buying and selling. Okay. Look at Floki. Over half a million dollars, almost six five hundred eighty-eight thousand dollars in volume, right? Let's look at Neo, seven hundred, almost eight hundred thousand dollars in volume. Okay. Uh, KuCoin, one point two eight million dollars in volume. Bitcoin, fifty-two million dollars in volume. Look at Ethereum, seventy-five point nine million dollars in volume. That thing had, you know, this is on KuCoin Exchange. But then look at KuCoin. Only $36,000 in 24 hours. So it's not, <laughs> it's a very low cap coin. It doesn't really take much to really pump it, okay? I think I think when it had like this big pump here, I, I was looking at the volume and it was like, I don't even think it reached over quarter million dollars to pump the way it did you know when when you had this move like that you know you're looking at over a million dollars only take a couple million dollars probably to do that right it was, so it's not going to take much but in order for the wells to you know and all they're doing is manipulating prices they're pumping this up trying to get you to buy up here and they're just dumping out dumping it on you and they're trying to you know, it's all, everything is all manipulation. Uh, but once again, for me, I, I'm a vet trader. So, you know, I, just, I was buying it all here. <laughs> I mean, I showed you all my trades. Um, but yeah, if you want Cocoin to move up, you gotta, you gotta, you know, Bitcoin needs to hold steady. It is all. All I have to say. But I think still, Bitcoin still could have some move up. You know, yeah. It is what it is. is what I see. Um, but then, ah, man, next week, I don't know. I expect stocks to take a, a, a whooping. And 
that can bring Bitcoin down as well. So we'll see how that plays out. All right. Now, somebody did ask me, um, not on the Coke channel, but my personal YouTube channel about what is CoCoin up to. But, you know, my thing to that person is if you go to CoCoin and I want you to look at the date here, it says 2023, December 20th. And they put up, you know, some article here, 2023, December 5th. Okay, or just, yeah, uh, anyway, this one, 2023, November 22nd, uh, okay, I'm sorry, this was, yeah, December 5th, but anyway, whatever, okay, um, here, 2023, November 7th, so what you can see is 2023, October 24th, CoCoin is active that they're up, you know, they're uploading you know, lies crypto life, right? So they're putting up what's going on in the crypto market, okay? Uh, and you got to just, you look at this to know, you know, I mean, you still got things that are active. Um, I wanted to improve my Korean, so I watched Infinite Power. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I thought it, it helped my, me, my well me learn some korean um so there's that you you have whatever games okay and so what does that tell you that yeah i mean cocoin is running they're they're uploading stuff so in my opinion it's still active they're still planning um in my my guess is the administrative side is trying to work on some some big moves or big news and they know the bull market is coming next. Is we're already in a bull market, right? I said we were in the first step. Now we're in the second state stage of it. Um, but you know, probably around when um, Bitcoin has its half having or whatever, that's when you know I think Co Coin the administrative side is going to put up more news and more upgrades and whatnot. Because it's it's gonna want to attract investors. That's when you're gonna see some some more money coming in. Okay, and so I think they're really just they're working on things, and you can see it on on the platform. But as of pushing big news out there, I think they're they're timing the market for the money at the right time for the money to come. That's just my opinion. You know, they they have their little shopping thing, but there's not really anything there now. Um, but yeah. So do I think Cocoin still operating? Yeah. Yeah. I, and I think they're just waiting to make big announcement when more money comes into the market right now. You know, it's not, it's not a Cocoin is not a, a big cap size coin. Uh, there's no need to put in big news now, okay? I, the the you had some money come in, but the floodgates has not been fully open, you know. So that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. So yeah, for you who asked for for the news, well, I mean, I'm showing you right. They they are you know posting things, but as for big news, big announcements, I think um they're waiting. They're waiting for more money to come into the market which isn't a bad idea because you don't want to you know imagine you have like only six shots on a revolver you want to make all six shots count and uh, you know i think they're waiting and it's not a bad idea to wait so there y'all have it all right god bless all of you in jesus christ's name um remember <sighs> things are going crazy out there right so you know get right with god right um, now it's a good time to serve Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And um, yeah, you want to surround yourself with the right people. All right. To me, I think the economy will still continue to get worse. And y'all know it's getting worse. So yeah, I haven't really seen anything uh, policy wise. I haven't heard anything and economic wise, uh, you know, that makes me think, um, it's going to get better.
I think sometime next year, I was, you know, and I've been saying this for years. I've been saying this for years, but I've been right about the economy getting worse. But tell you the truth, I think sometime next year, I, I'm going to, I don't know when, could be in the mid or towards the end of next year where I will say, no, things are starting to turn around, that we are bottomed out or bottoming out and the economy will turn turn around. Um, but I could be wrong. It could, it, it might, I might keep saying it all the way through 2024, you know. Uh, so we'll see how all that plays out. But definitely right now, I, I still think the economy will continue to get worse. Uh, I mean, they say inflation is like, what, under 3% if you live in the States? But really, really, like go to the store. Does it feel like 3%? No. The only thing that got better is gas prices. That's just my opinion. Anyway, please be spiritually healthy, mentally healthy, physically healthy. Work hard. Work hard. You know, you're going to see more job losses. That's what I think. All right, everyone. God bless all of you. In Jesus' name and Coco.